Hey guys, so it's been a while since I made something. I think the last thing I built was uh, Heather's um, poplar desk that I made from old framing studs. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. There's a link in my bio for it. It really, really came out nice. But that was like four weeks ago and I need to build things. It's therapeutic for me, really, it is. So I was looking around the house, trying to figure out, you know, what, what could I build that would be useful but not just spending money to build things, just to build things. Uh, and if you've watched any of my videos or following along with any stories, you'll know that I wear a lot of hats it's because I don't feel like doing my hair every day. So I'm going to make a hat rack, but I don't want to just make any hat rack. I want to make something kind of unique, kind of different. That's not in every single person's home. Uh, so we're heading over to the lumber yard here to see if we can find some good poplar boards because you know, poplar, uh, and we'll see what we can make out of this. So this is the local guy I go to to get my lumber. He's got a lot of good poplar boards in stock. We also need to pick up some all thread. Uh, I went with 7 sixteenths, but that's a pretty arbitrary size. Um, I also grabbed some 7 sixteenths washers and nuts, a lock nut and a wing nut. The wing nut was surprisingly difficult to find. Had to go to two separate stores to get it, but we were ready to go once we got home. Oh, and I did decide to pick up some flat black spray paint just to give everything more of a modern look. Since I didn't really know how I was gonna do this, I just grabbed a flap disc for my angle grinder. Uh, 30 grit is what I went with, and I just kind of started carving. I didn't really have a design or really a shape. I just tried to make it organic and neat, and it was honestly kind of fun. Also, if you're liking what you're seeing, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I will say, while I was going, I noticed that the more I really dug in the edge of the angle grinder of that flap disc, uh, the more defined those lines became, and I thought that look looked a little bit better. So within about 20 minutes, this is kind of what we were looking at. Now half of this isn't done, that's because I didn't actually need the board to be the full length, so I'll cut it to length here shortly. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get all those really rough grooves kind of smoothed out because no one wants to get a splinter while they're hanging their hat. Uh, and this gave me a chance to put my new Mercadero sander to the test and it did not disappoint. This sander almost makes sanding not suck. Though I will say for all its awesomeness, it could not get into those really, really tight spots. Uh, I don't think any sander could. You just, sometimes you gotta put in some hand sanding and this is actually kind of therapeutic in a way because I was kind of watching this organic thing that I made come to life and that was really cool. Then when we were finally done sanding, we could look at getting the board cut to length and cutting our individual slats that we're gonna hang our hats on. Uh, I originally, I was thinking I would do these at an inch and a half, and then I went to set my stop block, or in this case, a clamp that I clamped to my crosscut sled. I ran into the blade guard, which is that walnut piece at the top there, and just decided to push it to the side and do that distance. This ended up being about two inches, and that worked out just fine. Uh, it's plenty of space to hang a hat on, and it kept me from having like 60 slats that I needed to thread through the all thread. So let's save this a little bit of work on the back end. Once I got all those cut, I just drilled through holes that we're gonna put that all thread through. And then these hinges will pivot on that and that'll give us a way to hang our hats. Now, I will say that while this is a pretty DIY friendly project, uh, having a drill press there is pretty essential. There's some jigs you can use with your own handheld drill but getting these drilled in at a perfect 90 is pretty tough with the handheld drill. So sorry, it's not totally DIY. Once I got the slats on the all thread, they all pivoted pretty well and things were looking pretty good. So I can go ahead and look at the hardware. I didn't want silver hardware, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, we picked up that black spray paint and I just went and gave all the washers, the lock nut and the wing nut a quick black coat and this ended up really, really making the piece look a lot more clean and a lot more modern. 
Now, believe it or not, we're on to finishing. Uh, I just used a general armor shield finish and a satin. Um, I love this on Poplar. It really enriches the color and it got to really highlight all the grooves we made. So it was coming together really well. And once the finish was dry, we could start on installation. All I did was use a stud finder here to locate the studs in the wall. And then I used what's called a French cleat. Um, basically, this is a board cut with a 45 degree angle uh, with one of the 45s facing up and attached to the wall and then the other 45 facing down and attached to the hat rack and those just slot into place. Then here's that other piece, that 45 degree angle facing downward, attaching to the back of the hat rack. Uh, make sure if you do build this, that you pre-drill um, with us drilling our holes right there at the edge. Uh, there's a really high chance that it'll split the wood, which would be a huge bummer since we just spent like a day making this. So pre-drilling, definitely worth it. Then once we had that backer attached, we could just take it and slot it on to the one that was attached to the wall. Now, I will say that based on this design, when you pull one out, it does kind of pull the ones next to it. And this was kind of annoying, uh, but then I realized that I could just pull three or four out and leave them out consistently. And then you can still see the pattern on the rest of the board, uh, but I would still have the hooks that I needed. And honestly, it's not that big a deal to pull one out and then push the other ones back against the wall. Overall, this is a really cool project and I was really happy with it. It was all of about $36 and something really new to me. So it was fun. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Thanks for tuning in. This was fun. I have never done any kind of carving or anything. Uh, it was nice to use tools that I already had and only just buy a new disc, it was like four bucks. I think all in, this was $36. So for 36 bucks, having a nice, really clean, modern, unique, one of a kind hat rack. Definitely worth a couple days to, to mess around and make one of these. So let me know down in the comments what you like best about it, or if this isn't your style or what you would have done differently. Until next time, get out there and start your own project.